Alrighty, so, uh, after basically spending all day messing around with Unreal and my new uh, Artnet DMX controller, I finally got it all working. And basically, you can see with this webcam, <clears throat> I've got them aimed at my actual DMX lights, and I can control them. Basically, each of these is a six-channel uh, DMX light. First channel is your fade, and then second channel is your red, green, blue... And then you have a strobe, and you'll notice that uh, Unreal isn't isn't doing the same thing because I don't have it fully set up yet. This is just using the built-in uh, light setups. Then you also have an effects uh, one that just kind of does like some other funky stuff. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's it's a little intricate and kind of complicated, but for the most part, it's kind of simple but it, there's a lot of fiddling around basically with the the dmx controller itself because it's artnet which means it has to be on your network uh, or connected up to your computer through a network cable um you then assign it a you assign the controller itself a uh what's it called an ip address <clears throat> and then inside unreal in the project settings firstly you have to install the uh the dmx plugins uh, and once you have that, basically it's going to make you restart. Um, you have to choose the interface. This is um, 4.2.7. I tried it 4.2.26, um, and I was able to get it working, but 2.7 just came out. So I switched over to that and got it all set up here. Um, so 4.2.6 looks a little different, but this is 4.2.7. Anyway, um, so you set the interface of the actual, the IP address of the computer that you are communicating from. And then on the output, you can set up the same thing, but then you have to put the destination IP address. So I picked an IP address that my uh, my main router would be happy with, which is actually through what I have internet through. Um, so I assigned the IP address of 192.168.6.200. And the reason I did that is because my router's IP address is 613, whatever. It's it's I have my own configuration at home. Yours may vary. Set it to something your router would be happy with. Um, <clears throat> I left pretty much everything the same. I think, yeah. So the the Artnet interface that I have has eight universes that I can use. Um, however, I'm only using one right now, of course. So what I did was I set local universe start to one to eight. Um, it Unreal doesn't like it if it starts at universe zero. Um, but I have an external universe start of zero because actual DMX starts at zero and goes to seven, whereas Unreal wants it to be one to eight, whatever. This is where you change that. <clears throat> and then basically in here, you have to create a DMX library. You just right click and go DMX, uh, create library, and then you open that. I just docked it here. And then here, you're actually able to set up your input and output. Um, but in order to do that, you actually have to set up your DMX controller. Uh, and for some reason, it's not letting me do that now. So I'm not sure how you're supposed to do it now. Yeah, what the heck? How am I supposed to set up a controller now? Oops. Well, shit, that... That completely fucks up that. Because I had already set up my... Maybe it just detects it. No, because this is Artnet 8. That's one I named. Anyway, <clears throat> unfortunately I can't help you there. Um, I did two different tests. One, I used the GDTF online... Uh, this is an online gdtf.share, I don't know, some website, but it's it's a standard, it's an open standard for creating uh, templates for DMX lights. Anyway, I went and created one because I know that the first channel is dimmer, red, green, blue, strobe, and then effects. Um, but then I also manually created one inside of Unreal, basically the exact same thing. For some reason, Unreal doesn't like strobe. Um, they have a shutter, but... For some reason, it expects <clears throat> it start like at the bottom of the values is slow, 
and then as you get up to the top it goes faster and then at the very very top it's like all the way on so i just disabled that because i'm not really going to use the strobe um whereas on the actual light it's it's all the way down is off all the way up is fast strobe and there's no maximum that goes to all the way on anyway uh they're both six channels and then here i have one of them with the gdtf and the other one is a manual but they both are completely functional um and then yeah in here you just add these well let's actually stop so you add these from <clears throat> you have to enable I believe you have to enable engine content and plugin content so first engine content and then you got to add plugins uh, and then you can go find the dmx folder Ooh, it was a bunch so you got to find the dmx fixtures and then in here <coughs> uh, you can find just the basic there's one of them somewhere i don't even know yeah light fixtures and i just picked the basic static head or no i picked the the wash led and i just dragged that in there um in the tutorial I watched, he said you want to create a child, but I'm not. I'm just learning. I'm not doing anything critical right now. Anyway, so I drag that in. Um, and then from there, you have to select this thing. You go to details. And then in here, you're able to select what DMX library, and that's the one you created here. And in there is where you create your fixtures, or you put your fixtures in. Um, so you select the DMX library, and then you select which patch. <clears throat> which patch you want to use one of my set to manual the other one set to gdtf it doesn't really matter you can switch them around and then yeah in order for these uh faders you can see this is actually the the output of the universe it tells you what's going on um and that is actually affecting the real t real lights i can turn them up and off and change the colors and all that um in order to actually see it reflected in unreal you have to simulate and I hate the way Unreal does this, uh, that you, you physically are missing buttons when you shrink the window. Anyway, so you just go to simulate, and boom, and then the lights reflect what is actually happening here. And it's, it's pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, it's, it's not, not too bad. So yeah, uh, next I just need to learn how to make blueprints and figure out how I can make a uh, essentially an, a reflection probe or a light probe, whatever, um, output a bunch of points that each of them are a different color and then assign those to a bunch of DMX lights and I'll be ready to go. That's that.